Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka and you're welcome to the Terrace Kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to show you a very simple and delicious recipe of chocolate tart. So let's get started. For this recipe, we need 200 gram digestive biscuits. So the digestive biscuits are available from different brand. Usually they are in circle shape, but this is an oval shape and that's not going to make any difference. So total we need 200 gram of such biscuits. So grind them to a fine powder, add to your mixer grinder. Make a fine powder. Transfer the powder to a bowl. Next add melted butter. Here I've got half cup melted butter. I'm using salted but you can use unsalted butter, your homemade butter for this recipe. Mix well. Here I've got a 10 inch tart mold with removable base. If you do not have a tart mold, you can use small cups and instead of demolding, you can serve your dessert directly in that cup. Next I'm going to grease this tart mold with some oil. So once you're done greasing, add the biscuit mixture. Before you start pressing the mixture, spread it evenly. If you press it first and then try to spread it, it would be difficult for you. And like I said, if you do not have a tart mold, you can use small cups and serve your dessert directly in that cup instead of demolding or removing. So this is ready. I'm going to set this in my refrigerator for 30 minutes till it sets. And now let's prepare sliced almonds. So here I've got 1 4th cup almonds. We don't need 1 4th cup for this recipe. We would need around 5-6 almonds but I'm going to make 1 4th cup. So add a little salt and 1-2 to two teaspoon water. Soak the almonds in salted water for 15-20 to 20 minutes. And after 15-20 to 20 minutes you can use your microwave or you can use a pan to roast these. So roast at low medium flame for 4-5 to five minutes or little more than that. The almonds would also make a cracking sound towards the end. Once they are done, let them cool down. Next, I am going to slice the almonds. If you do not have a slicer, you can chop your almonds using a knife. So here they are, they look delicious but I am not going to use them all for this recipe. But yes, I would store them. Here I've got 1 cup dark chocolate, this is 45%. You can use 55% or you can use your favorite chocolate, dark milk or any chocolate. Next add half cup fresh cream, the one you get from Amul brand or any other similar cream or half cup whipping cream, any of the two. Melt over double boiler or you can microwave for 1 to 1.5 minutes. For the double boiler method, you can place this bowl over a pot of boiling water but make sure you warm your cream before doing that otherwise it would take forever to mix and melt. So look at the smooth and glossy ganache. So if you're using dark chocolate, you can use sweetened whipping cream but if you're using sweet chocolate, please go with fresh cream, the one which is not sweetened. So the base is set, I'm going to gently release it so that later after setting everything, it would become easier to remove the tart mold, I mean tart from the mold. If you find it difficult to demold, you can just run the edges on your gas stove over the flame and then it would come off easily. Now pour the ganache and spread the ganache. Add some almonds on top. If you want, you can add these roasted salted almonds in the chocolate ganache. Set the tart in refrigerator for 1 to 2 hours. So I'm going to place this in my refrigerator, not the freezer section, regular refrigerator section. Once it's done, remove it from the mold, slice and serve. If you like this recipe, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Terrace Kitchen for more such wonderful recipes. Give this recipe a try and enjoy!